Secret Invasion is the latest addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Marvel Disney Plus shows really don't have the best track record and this series continues to have many of the same problems but this time I think Secret Invasion completely fails to deliver on its premise and I hate to say it but I think Secret Invasion is Marvel's worst project yet. Hello and welcome to Cinemates and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Secret Invasion and explaining why I think it's a complete failure of a show. There will be spoilers ahead but honestly if you haven't seen the show I don't recommend watching it so really don't worry about spoilers. I come at this as a Marvel fan, not a hater. I want the shows and movies to do well and on paper Secret Invasion looked like it could be really good. A more mature grounded story inspired by the spy genre and paranoia thrillers. Continuing on from the Scrolls story in Captain Marvel where they felt a bit wasted but unfortunately they're even more wasted here. Frustratingly, we've seen a pattern with these Marvel Disney Plus shows. They often have a very strong opening episode which offers us something new with an interesting premise and unique tone. Then the shows tend to meander in the middle and then they have a strong episode at around the three quarter mark and then they rush the finale with a big out of place CGI fight. The shows often feel too short at only six episodes and they often don't feel designed the best for TV. It was forgivable for the first few series as Marvel Studios were still learning how to make television shows. However, it's been a few years now and we're still having the same mistakes. And Secret Invasion is as guilty of this as ever, with an intriguing first episode setting the grounded tone and serious stakes, then having a few episodes which were quite boring where nothing really happened, then giving us a much more exciting episode 4 with Rhodey revealed as a scroll and Talos sacrificing himself for the president, and then nothing really happens in episode 5, and then the final episode 6 rushes everything, it fails to conclude the story, and it has one of the worst big CGI fights we've ever seen in Marvel. So it has all the same mistakes as the other Marvel shows, but why do I think this is the worst one. That's because the other shows have at least succeeded in other areas where this one just completely fails. And that comes down to Cap. No, not that guy or him and no, not him either. And no, it's not me trying to be cool and using slang for lying. No, I mean characters, arcs and premise. These are the things that I think have made the MCU special throughout phases one to three. We see unique and fun characters that we care about develop over multiple films and it delivers on unique premises and subgenres within the overall superhero genre. While none of the Disney Plus shows are perfect, I think they succeed in delivering on an aspect of Cap, but that's where I think Secret Invasion completely fails on all three areas. Starting with characters, it's the fun and unique characters which have helped Marvel feel fresh for over 10 years now. And phase four of the MCU definitely had its issues, but I do think it succeeded in setting up a bunch of new and interesting characters to continue Marvel's legacy going forward. Moon Knight was a show completely carried by its lead actor and his intriguing character. Ms. Marvel had its issues, sure, but Kamala Khan was a standout from that show with fun, youthful energy. And even She-Hulk was a good interpretation of that comic character. And even outside of the lead actors the other shows had me excited about the other characters which appeared like Mobius, Daredevil, Monica Rambo, Yelena, Zemo, Agatha, Kingpin and basically every alternate version of a character in What If. And is that not what the point of these shows are? To set up characters that we don't have as much time for in the films to give them more time to shine on the small screen and then to get me excited to see them again when they do appear in films. But the characters in Secret Invasion? They didn't give me this. This wasn't the most interesting version of Nick Fury we've seen. Guy was set up to be an important character but I really didn't find myself caring about her and who knows if we'll ever see her again. It wasn't the real version of Rhodey so that doesn't make me more interested in his Armor Wars project. The villain ended up being super generic and all I remember about him was his bad Welsh accent. He was intriguing at the start but he ended up being a classic villain with no personality who starts to kill his own people for asking fair questions so any nuance and sympathy for that character is gone. And Talos was one of the more interesting characters and now he's dead. So this show doesn't make me excited for the future prospects of these characters. I'm not more excited for the Marvels because of Nick Fury's role in this show. However, I am more excited for the Marvels because of Ms. Marvel and Monica Rambeau's role in WandaVision. Also, this is nothing against the actors. They were all doing a decent enough job. The standouts were Talos and the show became way less interesting once he was gone. Don Cheadle was definitely having fun when he was allowed to be a bit more villainous and Olivia Colman was the standout really giving an endearing performance without taking away from the serious tone. But they didn't really do anything with her character. And so overall, I think this show just completely fails its characters. And this leads us on to arcs. Remember character arcs? Well, this show doesn't. There's like one and a half character arcs across the entirety of this show, and they aren't particularly effective or interesting. Even though the Loki show really felt like half of a story, it gave us an arc for Loki exploring a second chance for a villainous character. And Clint Barton had an arc throughout Hawkeye exploring the mistakes he's made in his past and how this impacts other people. Even Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where I had major issues with 
the handling of the arcs still had character arcs in there as Falcon learned to take up the mantle of Captain America, Bucky learned to come to terms with his past action and John Walker had his redemption. In Secret Invasion, the only character who really has an arc is Gaia, who goes from unsure of which side to take to joining the good guys. But this was super basic and like I said, she really wasn't an interesting character so I didn't care about her. Nick Fury, the main character of the show, has an arc where he learns to love his wife in her alien form. But that was only a side plot anyway, so it's not a very good arc for our main character. He basically ends the show in the exact same place he started, on a spaceship, which kind of makes this show feel pointless and that he can end up where he needs to be for the Marvels. It's extra frustrating because there are some good themes in here, themes that could and should tie into the character's arcs. Constantly throughout the whole show, characters question Nick Fury about why he abandoned the scrolls for so many years and he fails to give us an answer. And so it's hard to side with our lead character when we don't understand the reasons for some of his negative past actions. The show constantly tells us that Nick Fury is old and not himself, but this never feels like the case. He still feels like Nick Fury. And so by the end of the show, when he puts the eye patch back on, it doesn't feel like a big moment. And then we have Maria Hill, who literally dies for nothing. Sure, her death establishes the stakes and it allows Nick Fury to say this time it's personal but other than that her dying adds nothing to the show because when we lose her for Nick Fury's arc when Nick Fury's arc goes nowhere her loss was meaningless and then Talos dies setting up a fantastic arc for both his character and the show dying to save the president proving that not all scrolls are bad and some actually care for humanity that is the perfect arc for this show however by the end of the series the president bizarrely declares war on the scrolls and so Talos's sacrifice was literally for nothing despite it being perfect perfectly set up to conclude the show. And so not only does this show fail its characters, but it fails their arcs. But the way I think this show fails the most and where it fails more than any of the other Disney Plus shows is in its premise. This show completely fails the premise of being a spy paranoia thriller. I was excited for this show because it felt like the mystery side of the scrolls were not utilized in the Captain Marvel film. And this show would give us the chance to create a tense, mysterious, paranoid atmosphere. But it completely fails at this. The tagline of this show was was who do you trust? But I never once questioned that after the first episode. It was always pretty obvious who you can trust. Nick Fury seemed to always know who to trust. No characters ever question if they're in the room with the real version of a character or not. For a show that should be creating paranoia, almost everything felt like it was shown at face value. We should be led to question whether we believe what we see, but nine times out of 10, what we saw was the real thing. There weren't many secrets in this show. One of them was that Rhodey was a scroll, which has been theorized by fans for years. And when you only have one Avenger in the show and it's one whose personality has never really been defined and the character is quite disposable it's pretty obvious that he's going to be the infiltrator and another reveal we have is in the final episode Gaia is disguised as Nick Fury which was pretty obvious when Gaia was missing for the entire episode and Nick Fury is cartoonishly acting like he's affected by radiation so both twists in this show were painfully obvious it doesn't help that the scrolls always use the same face so there was rarely any question about who the scrolls were because we always knew what the scrolls would look like I cannot believe believe how badly this show failed to deliver on its titular secret invasion. Compare this to the other Disney Plus shows. WandaVision did a good job of emulating sitcoms and adding in mysterious Twilight Zone vibes. That series did a better job at the mystery and intrigue than Secret Invasion. Ms. Marvel did a good job of living up to its premise of the family, friends and cultural life of a high school girl gaining superpowers. Say what you will about She-Hulk, while it does fail at the lore aspect of that show, it does a good job of living up to its premise of fourth wall breaking sitcom about a woman in her 30s balancing her professional and social life while trying to be a superhero. Secret Invasion fails at being a Secret Invasion show, and it fails at just being a show in general, really. Now, up until the finale, the main positives I had about this show were the stakes and the themes, but by the end of the series, even those failed. The stakes. They felt grounded, it felt realistic, it felt serious, and it felt deadly. We knew very clearly who the villains were and what they wanted. A lot of these Marvel Disney Plus shows have obvious villain twists that were revealed way too late into the game, and they often posed little or no danger. And so I loved that the first few episodes of Secret Invasion set up very clear, dangerous threats. And where I thought there were gonna be more twists and reveals later on in the show, it was good to make your villains clear early on so that big reveals can be made later in the show, and we don't have to spend time on villain reveals later. However, these reveals never really happened and there was no greater mystery or secret. And where the show was setting up deadly World War stakes, it turned into a tranquilizer fight in a hospital and one of the worst CGI fights we've ever seen. I'm not gonna go into that fight too much because everyone has been moaning about it, but we literally get two characters with every superpower 
punching each other. It's just crazy. How did they think this was a good idea? And it leaves us with a character who now has every superpower. That is a universe changing revelation. So many of these series have these big CGI fights that always feel out of place and I never like them. Marvel for some reason keeps relying on these fights in their recent films and shows and that was never what made the MCU special. It was always the characters and their journeys and when action was praised it was either because of realistic well choreographed action scenes or fantastic set pieces not the CGI fights between two similar characters. They really need to stop this trend. And my other praise in the early episodes was its themes. Some of the best moments in this show were just between two characters talking, learning about their motivations and setting up interesting themes. But by the end of the show, it fails to deliver on these themes. It kind of feels like the show wants to be and or a much slower show, setting up themes and ideas which will pay off by the end. However, when there is no payoff to the ideas and the puzzle pieces, it turns these slow, interesting conversations into boring filler. The show sets up ideas like refugees, conspiracy theories, world war, prejudice and personal sacrifice but by the end the themes that were set up were never really explored any further. If we just look at one of these themes in a bit more detail the scrolls are clearly an allegory for refugees and the show clearly sets up that these refugees just want a place to live which Fury promised them he would find. The show wants us to side with the good scrolls so when Fury has failed to help them it makes us not side with our lead character because he hasn't sided with the people that the show tells us to care about. Talos then sacrifices himself to save the president, setting up a clear theme that refugees are real people who want to be accepted and are willing to die for their leaders. And by the end of the show, his sacrifice goes nowhere and the president even turns against scrolls, which goes against the themes that were set up for five episodes. What does this show want us to feel? The show spans five episodes setting up the idea that we should accept refugees and then in the last five minutes of the show, it turns against them and shows a montage of people killing the scrolls. So are we not supposed to side with them? The themes are just so muddled. And again, this idea of vigilantes killing scrolls is another interesting theme that should have been the focus of the entire season but instead it's wasted for seemingly nothing. Overall the Marvel Disney Plus shows have been pretty mixed but I think I'd recommend all of them because people might find something in there to enjoy but Secret Invasion is the first Marvel project where I would say don't bother with it. Seriously just skip it. It fails its characters, it fails their arcs and it massively fails the unique premise of their entire show. Despite some interesting themes and stakes it fails to deliver on these and overall just comes across as boring with an awful and I mean seriously awful CGI fight and overall I think Secret Invasion is the MCU's worst project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of Secret Invasion in the comments below. Based on a poll I put on my channel, about 60% of you enjoyed it and 40% didn't. So it seemed like people liked it more than me, but there is still a split there. If you enjoyed this, please like the video. It helps me out so much. Subscribe for more content like this and subscribe to see more polls on my community tab. You can expect content about Marvel, DC, Star Wars and anything exciting going on in film. So be sure to subscribe for more. But for now, thanks for watching. Cinemaze.